um, and you needed to just sort of hand the mic back and forth. Or if you were wanting to use one microphone to set in the middle of a conference table for like a conference call where you wanted everyone's voices to be picked up, that would be a good use for that. Now, a hypercardioid mic actually has a spike out the back to where it's going to pick up audio out of the back side of the microphone, which so it's a little different. It's like a cardioid in the front and then it has a spike out the back for more audio. So uh, can you tell me anything about the design of how they play? Is, is, is there just one diaphragm in here or are there two that, that electrically work against each other? How do you achieve that? How does it not pick up anything in the back? Um, but it picks up at the front. I, I got to believe there's some microphone element magic going on there. There is. Um, so what happens with all of our microphones is it's about placement and air. So the PR40 is a great example that the microphone element where it's sitting in the top of the chassis, there's a long column underneath it that's attaching to the lower section. And all of that um, air is rushing up the backside of the microphone and being rejected if that makes sense, which is why oh, okay. when you okay. speak into the back of the microphone, you can't hear hardly anything. So so I've never taken this apart. Does this have one mic element or more than one mic element in here? Just one element. Just one. So its directionality is achieved purely by mechanical design means, not by electrical means. Correct. Right? Wow. Yeah. Hey, Chris, Chris, show me your microphone and... What, what's what's its response like off axis or toward the back? 